What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another Pump Up the Jam workout. My name is Corey, and I'm your Planet Fitness trainer for today. Now, today is all about combining two great ways to get your heart rate elevated, exercise, and great music. Now, Planet Fitness always believes that your fitness is essential, and keeping your heart rate elevated throughout the entire exercise has tons of different benefits. Boosting your immune system, lowering cholesterol, and burning more overall calories throughout the day is what it's all about. Now, when you're doing cardio, ideally, you're trying to achieve 65 to 85% of your maximum heart rate. And later on, I'll show you how to calculate that yourself very easily. Now, when I'm doing cardio, one of my favorite musics to listen to is rock and hip hop. However, I enjoy a lots of different genres. And when I'm doing cardio, I also like to do an alternative version with some weights, full body movements, and a high intensity conditioning circuit. So you're taking weights, full body moves, and a continuous circuit to really help keep that heart rate elevated throughout the entire workout. Now this year is all about finding fun and creative ways to keep moving together. Now first things first, let's get right into this warm up. All right, y'all. So we're gonna start off first here. We're gonna go into some toe touches, all right? So we're gonna lean down, touch our toe across, we're working our core. All right, come back up, breathe in. Breathe out, touch at the bottom here, y'all. We're just gonna get those muscles nice and primed and ready before we get going. Nice job, we're stretching out the legs. Find your own pace and whatever feels good for you for breathing. All right, we're gonna do a few more of these. Nice job, y'all. And breathe out. In at the bottom, out at the top. We're gonna do one more here. All right, y'all, nice job. All right, so now we're gonna go into some high knees. And this is totally on you. I'm gonna to go to the side here so you can see me. The more that you get those knees up there, the more you're working those hips, getting that heat, that heart rate going here. Nice job, y'all. You can do little bitty steps. We just wanna get going, get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing. We're priming those muscles, so we're ready for an awesome workout. All right, nice job, y'all. Keep breathing, big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice job, we're gonna go a few more seconds here. I'm just bouncing off my toes here. I'll come to the front. So you can see me here, nice and smooth, y'all, all the way through. Nice job, big breath in and breathe out. All right, so we're gonna open our stance up a little bit. And we're gonna get a little flexibility going in here, go into some depth squats. You just go to whatever your range of motion will allow, all right? Nice, smooth reps here, getting the legs ready, the core, everything set up to go nice and steady through this workout. Awesome job, y'all. Breathe in at the bottom and breathe out at the top. Nice job. Nice smooth motions here. You can even go down just to parallel. That's all right. Do whatever feels good for you. All right, nice job. We're gonna do one more here. Big breath in and breathe out. All right, y'all. Now I'm gonna progress these circuits as we move through our workout. First one here is gonna be body weight. All right, so we're gonna go down, arm is out, and we're gonna go into some single arm squats here. So you're working the legs, you're working the core, and we're just reaching down to the ground, nice and smooth. Now you can go as deep as whatever is comfortable for you. So if you can touch the floor, that's awesome. If not, no big deal. And we wanna keep breathing all the way through. Nice job, breathe in, then breathe out and come up to the tight. Nice job. We're gonna do a couple more here. Three, two, one, and that's time. And now we're gonna switch arms. Now we're gonna to touch down at this side. All right, nice job. Same thing here. Go to what your range of motion will allow you to do, all right? Doing 30 seconds here. So we're gonna get nice and fired up and ready for these other rounds. All right, nice job. Keep breathing in through the nose. Breathe out at the top. Nice smooth reps here, y'all. Big breath in and breathe out. You're doing so good, y'all. Here we go, last few reps. Three, two, one more. Awesome, that's time. So now we're gonna work the back. Now here, we're gonna lean into it, we're gonna hinge at our hips, and we're gonna squeeze our back together. It's all about that mind-muscle connection here, y'all. Squeeze and breathe, big breath in. Elbows are gonna flare out. We're gonna squeeze that back. Now you can see me from the front here. I'm just squeezing my back. Elbows are flaring out, a very good way to build good habits and to weightlifting. All right, we're gonna do a few more here. Three, two, one more big squeeze. 
Nice job. All right. So now we're going to narrow our stance out here. All right. So we're going to hit the thighs and quads. We're going to go into a narrow stance squat. We want to keep the knees going out so that they don't go in on us here, y'all. Nice, smooth reps, just like before. Y'all are doing really good here. Just keep breathing all the way through. Nice job. Breathe in at the bottom and breathe out at the top. Nice job, y'all. Nice and smooth. We're getting everything ready because we're gonna turn it up as we go. Nice job, y'all. Few more reps here. Three, two, one, and that's time. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the core here. So hands are gonna come out in front of us and we're gonna do some torso twists. Nice, smooth reps here. And this is all about finding your own pace. Whatever feels good for you. So left to right, whatever feels good to breathe in and out on, you just do your thing. Nice job, y'all. All about flexibility here and working that core. Nice job. Go at your own pace, go at your range of motion will allow. Nice job, y'all. Big breath in and breathe out and keep breathing with me, y'all. Nice job, keep that core nice and tight. You can go as fast or slow as you want. If you wanna turn that up and go faster, you totally can. Nice job, we're gonna do a few more reps here. Three, two, one, and that's gonna be time. We're gonna come back to center. We're gonna narrow our stance out and we're gonna do a deadlift motion or a hamstring stretch. Now I'm gonna go to the side so you can see how this looks. Same thing here, I'm gonna hinge at my hips, bend my knees and come back up to the top. Breathe in and breathe out. We're working that backside of the legs, the glutes, getting that all fired up. Nice job, y'all doing really good. Reach down as far as you can and come back up. Breathe in, bend the knees, follow your shins and come right back up. Nice job, y'all doing so good here. Breathe in, breathe out at the top, nice. And a few more reps to go. Y'all are doing really awesome. Go to your own range and depth whatever feels good for you. All right, got a few more reps here. Awesome, three, two, one, and time for those. So our last exercise here is gonna be on the ground. We're gonna work our chest now, since we've hit about everything else here. So hands are gonna be up above us, and this is just gonna be a straight chest contraction. So what we're trying to do here, y'all, is just squeeze that chest when we come to the top. Open it up and stretch, breathe out, and squeeze, nice job, awesome work here y'all. Nice job, squeeze that chest, breathe in, and breathe out at the top, awesome. Big breath in, and breathe out at the top. Nice job y'all, all the way through, we wanna keep doing this, keep the core nice and tight. We've got the back nice and flat here. All right, we're gonna do a few more reps, three, two, one, and we're gonna squeeze at the top. Nice job y'all on that first round. Now this is where we're gonna take a break. If you wanna get just a drink of water or whatever it is that you need to do, pop that open, take a drink here. Awesome job. Now what I was talking about earlier, we wanna to try to achieve 65 to 85% of our heart rate max. Now all you have to do to calculate that, take 220 and minus that from your age and that will give you your maximum heart rate. And then you wanna to try to aim for 65% to 85% of that heart rate all throughout your workout when you're doing that. All right, now we're gonna get on to this next round here. I'm gonna add in some water bottles to this to add a little bit of resistance or weight. You use whatever you have at home and that'll be totally fine, whatever you have at your disposal. All right, so I'm gonna go back into a similar motion on the first one, just a little bit harder progression, all right? So we're gonna go into an overhead squat now. You can also bring this down to make it a little easier. I'm gonna hold it overhead and go into a nice, smooth squat here, y'all. Now, like I said, you can bring this down and you're still working the core passively while we're doing this exercise. If you wanna hold it up high, that's gonna be just a little bit more intensity into that motion. Nice job, y'all. Go to your own range of motion, whatever feels good for you. All right, breathe in and breathe out. Nice job, breathe in and breathe out. Awesome job, the hand can come down to the hip if you want to, whatever feels good for y'all. Nice job, we're gonna switch hands now. This arm is gonna come out, this arm is gonna stay up. We're 90 degrees right here in front of me. All right, and we're gonna keep going. Nice job. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice job, y'all. Remember, always do what feels good for you. Your own range of motion, breathe with whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna breathe in at the bottom. 
and I'm gonna breathe out at the top. Nice job, y'all. Nice smooth reps here. You're doing so good. We got a few more to go here. Three, two, I'm gonna do one more, and that's time. Nice job. Now I'm gonna grab my other accessory weight here, and we're gonna get back into some rows. So I'm gonna go off to the side. Arms are straight, back is straight. And we're gonna pull and squeeze, just like we did the first time. Nice. And keep breathing all the way through, y'all. In, breathe out, and squeeze when you exert that energy. Nice job, y'all. All the way through. Nice and smooth. Awesome job. Keep going here. We got a few more to do. Three, squeeze, two, one more. And that's time. Nice job. Now I'm gonna drop this, and we're gonna go and hold this at our chest just to add some extra resistance. Same motion as before. And we're gonna do some narrow squats here, nice and smooth. We've just added a little bit of weight to make that exercise just a little bit harder. Nice job, y'all. Breathe in at the bottom, out at the top. Nice job. Nice, smooth. Reps go to whatever depth you can do. It's all about feeling good here, y'all. Nice, smooth, all the way through. Breathe in at the bottom. Nice job, y'all. Awesome, we got a few more reps here. Three, two, one, and that's time. Awesome job, all right. So we're gonna hold this out in front of us. Same thing, we're gonna torso twist here, just with a little bit of weight. Add that resistance. We're gonna put some more pressure on that core to do that work. Nice job, and always find a smooth breathing point for whatever feels good for you. Awesome job, y'all. And breathe in. And breathe out. And you go to whatever your range of motion will allow. I'm opening my hips up here a little bit just to kind of get my hips working. You can also stay stationary and go to whatever your range of motion will allow that feels good for you. Nice job, y'all. Here we go. A few more reps. Three two, one, we're gonna come back to center. Nice job, so now we're back to our deadlifts here, okay? So we're gonna go off to the side so we can see form. I'm gonna hold this weight down. We wanna bend our knees, follow the shins on the way down, breathe in, and breathe out at the top. Nice job. Nice smooth reps all the way through. You wanna feel like that's a stretching motion all the way through, nice job. And go to whatever your range of motion will allow. You can go farther, that's awesome. You can only go right below your knees, no big deal, you're only gonna get better at these as you do them. Breathe in, breathe out at the top. Y'all are doing awesome. Just stick with me, here we go. Three, two, let's do one more rep. Nice job, all right. So we're gonna go back to our last exercise here on the floor. I'm gonna grab both of my weights, we're adding some resistance. So we're gonna lay down on our back, feet are gonna be tucked in to keep that back nice and straight. And we're gonna press and squeeze Overhead, right above our chest. Breathe in at the bottom and breathe out at the top. Nice job, y'all. Breathe in and breathe out with nice smooth reps. Think stretch at the bottom, bring it up and squeeze. All about working that chest muscle here. Good. We got a few more reps to go and we're done with round two. All right, we got a few more here. Here we go. Three, two, do a couple more time. Awesome job, y'all. Very nice work. All right, so we're gonna set those down. That's our second round here. Now, continuing off of our heart rate here, y'all, if you wanna calculate that while you're exercising, find the inside of your wrist with two fingers or find the vein in your neck, count, count the 15 seconds and see how many beats you get there and calculate that and multiply that by four. Or you can go for 30 seconds, multiply that by two, and that will give you your current heart rate while you're exercising. So you can gauge the intensity of your workout, whether you can go harder or you need to scale it back so that you can make it all the way throughout your workout. Okay, now last circuit here. All right, we're gonna go into the highest intensity that we can go in our progressions, okay? So I'm gonna use a little bit of weight, a little bit of heavier, with some more intense movements. So we're gonna turn it up here, y'all. All right, last workout, got our weight here, arm is out, straight down. We're gonna press this overhead. All right, so we're really gonna get that heart rate going, all right? And y'all find a progression that works for you. So if the first round worked for you and felt good, then stay there and do that all throughout the workout with me, because that's no big deal. 
you keep moving, that heart rate keeps going. Nice job, y'all. Here we go. Nice and smooth reps. We're in no rush. We just wanna keep going and moving consistently. Nice job, y'all. Breathe in, breathe out at the top. We get a few more reps to go here. Three, two, one, last one, all the way to the top. Nice job. All right, other arm here. We're gonna keep going. We're switching, we're working our core, legs, arms, shoulder. We're curling, using our biceps, using our shoulders, legs together. Full metabolic workout. We're pumping blood and we're burning calories, y'all. Nice job, nice job. Find a good pace to breathe. Go to your own range of motion and whatever feels good for you, all right? Awesome job. We're working here, y'all. Few more reps. All right, three, two, one. And that's our last one to the ceiling. Nice job. All right, so I'm gonna grab my other weight here. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see my form. We want the back to be straight. And we're gonna go into piston or alternating rows here. All right, so this is just a little bit more of an intense way to do some rows. We're just gonna constantly be moving here all throughout this workout. Nice job. I'll come to the front so you can see my arms here. We're alternating these, we're working our core, our obliques, our back, and we just wanna stay steady breathing all the way through the entirety of this workout. Nice job, y'all. Keep going, y'all got it. We're gonna finish strong. Nice job here. Keep breathing, go to your own range of motion and what feels for good, good for you. And do the progression that you like. All right, nice job. We're gonna do a few more here. Three, two, one, and breathe. Nice job. All right, so I'm gonna take both weights that I have here, load them up at the front. We're gonna narrow our stance out and we're gonna do some tempo squats. So we're not gonna lock out at the bottom. We're not gonna lock out at the top. We're not gonna skip a beat here. We got constant tension all the way throughout. My quads are fired up. I know that yours are too. Nice job, y'all. Awesome work here. We're gonna keep that tension going. Keep breathing. Nice job, in at the bottom, out at the top. Nice job, and we're gonna keep that moving. We're gonna finish strong here. We get a few more reps, three, two, one, and that's time. Awesome work here, y'all. All right, so we're gonna widen this stance. If you need to lose a little bit of weight here and just hold one, that's totally fine. And you're gonna go all the way out here. And we're gonna go into our torso twists. I'm gonna open up those hips all the way through and really keep my arms up so I feel it in my shoulders and in my core. Nice job, y'all. Keep breathing all the way through. Find a good spot that feels good for you. You can always modify this, lose the pivot, and just keep that nice, tight core movement all the way through to keep that fired up. Three, two, one, awesome job. Now I'm gonna modify our deadlift here a little bit into a hip thruster to add that extra intensity. So I'm gonna hold the weight straight down or whatever you've got at your disposal, swing through, and squeeze the glutes at the top. I'm gonna show you from the side here. Bring it in. I'm just gonna hinge at my hips, thrust that off, and breathe. Awesome job, y'all. Y'all are doing so good here. We're almost through. Nice job. Awesome. Breathe in, breathe out. Y'all are doing so good here. Keep moving. Breathe in, out the top. Three, two, one, time. Nice job. Last exercise here. I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra movement to this chest workout, all right? So come down on your back, feet are tucked in, but I'm gonna put these at 90 degrees. So we're gonna add some core in. Breathe in and breathe out at the top. Y'all are doing awesome. And the more that you extend, those legs, the more that you're gonna work that core and really get that whole body moving and fired up. Nice job, y'all. Keep breathing in at the bottom, out at the top. Nice job, y'all. Here we go, we got a few more reps. Let's finish strong. Here we go. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in. 
and breathe out. We got a few more reps here, all the way through here. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. Awesome job, y'all. And you finished that workout. Now, the first thing that we wanna do here is get cooled down a little bit. So we're gonna do a little bit of stretching, okay? And on our heart rate, y'all, it's always important to exercise, get your heart rate elevated. That's really gonna give you a lot of benefits in the future when you're working out. All right, so we're gonna go into an upper arm stretch. So we're just gonna hold this across our body. Really good stretch here, all the way through. Head is up, we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We were working there, y'all, that heart rate's pumping. We wanna get it down a little bit and cool down and stretch so we can feel good for the rest of the day. Nice job. We're gonna do one more stretch on each side. Hold and really pull that across the body. You can do a little torso twist. We worked our core a little bit today. Do that here. All right, we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch, kind of like our deadlifts here, but we're gonna hold that, stretch that out. Nice job, come up and relieve that tension. Awesome job here, y'all. Go down and stretch, hold it, to whatever your range of motion allow, whether it's up here or farther down. Nice job, all right, y'all. Last stretch here, we're gonna open up the stance, get the inner thighs, we're gonna lean onto one side, go whatever feels good for you and your range of motion. Same thing here, we're gonna breathe and breathe out at the top. Breathe in and breathe out at the top. Breathe in and breathe out at the top. Nice job here, y'all. Last little stretch over to the other side. All right, nice job, y'all. Great job on the workout today. Remember to come back and see more workouts with all of our other awesome trainers. If you are headed to the gym, remember, it's always easy getting started with Planet Fitness with plenty of help from our Planet Fitness team and all of our other awesome trainers. Plus, our clubs are always squeaky clean with tons of space and equipment for you to use. Remember to check out Planet Fitness on Spotify. Make sure to check the link in the comments to find my own personal playlist. And remember, this year is all about getting off the couch and finding fun and creative ways to keep moving together with fitness. Now we're here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Check us out on Facebook Live. Download our Planet Fitness app for tons more content and touch-free access to your clubs. My name is Corey. Have an awesome day.